today, very unusual setup, I know. Um, I was just recording some vocals and uh, I remembered that some people asked, how do you do your vocal style? Not the black metal vocals. Okay, it, it is black metal vocals. Uh, they always ask, uh, how do you do these um, howling, Askeria, Moonblood, whatever vocals. I'm talking about these. <laughs> First of all, I'm not a trained singer. Not at all. I'm a very bad singer. Um, and I have no education in, in singing or anything. You know, I'm a self-taught screamer. So everything I say in this video is probably wrong and will hurt your throat and your voice. So, you know, so much for the disclaimer. I figured out something. For You know, a little introduction. When you um, practice screaming, when I started to practice it, I noticed that uh, one or two days after I did some practice, um, I was not capable of uh, making a specific sound anymore. And that's the classic woo. Woo! That sound. Woo, woo, woo! When you're not able to do that anymore, after singing, a day or two after, you're doing something wrong. So p keep in mind, you should al always be able to woo. Very important, I think, because, you know, I have no freaking idea what I'm talking about, but uh, uh, if you're not able to make a certain sound anymore, this can't be good. Yes, it, it gets very, very wet in the car when you do vocals, almost like you did something else in, in the car. I think the first tip is very obvious and a classic tip a lot of vocal teachers uh, talk about. It's the... Uh, singing from your diaphragm, even though I have no idea if my technique has to do with the diaphragm or whatever. As I said, I have literally no idea what I'm talking about. But what I'm doing before I sing, I uh, do the S sound. Just to warm it up. To And you feel your um, your abs. Is it called abs? The, the stomach muscles do some work when you do that. And you have to keep that in mind while singing. And the classic, imagine you're coming home from a long day of school or work or doing nothing and you fall back, fall into your chair. Ugh. That ugh. Mm. Together with the s ugh, creates a certain sound. That's what we're looking for. At least I think so. And then is this there is this hysteric screaming we add to that. How do I explain this? Imagine you are uh, trying to sing Iron Maiden. Yeah! Oh! Is that Iron Maiden? That's an Iron Maiden. <clears throat> but you know what I mean. Some high-pitched whatever power metal stuff. Ah! 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 And you, you know, the, the more you combine both of these, the closer you get to the Askaraya howling, screaming, whatever sound. See? And uh, I can feel a lot of things is ha are happening here. I don't know what that means. It's not head voice. I think head voice is more... I probably have um, people in my community that know a lot about vocal stuff, so please correct everything I said in the comments, that would be very nice, because I don't want to teach, teach, imagine, uh, teach wrong stuff. So that's basically how I learned it, and the funny thing is, it, it made a certain like, ah, before I started to record the vocals for Etzele Baba Yaga, so I wasn't able to do these vocals before, or at least they didn't feel as natural as they do now. And it's very loud, I gotta say. Uh, most singers, or let's say almost every singer, tells you, don't sing too loud. Very important. Because if, you, if you're if you touring with a band and you have to sing that loud every evening, it takes like two or three shows and you're dead. Literally. But 
since I'm recording an album only t every two years and uh, make a music video like every other month or something, it's it's totally fine for me and I don't need to talk much at work, etc. So, I like singing loud. It's uh, from the emotional aspect. It feels like I'm really pushing everything into it I got, I have, instead of instead of trying to use a good technique. I mean, this is black metal, you know, it's not music. <laughs> I mean, it's not, um, you know what I'm, what I'm trying to say, yeah? We're not, we're not progressive metal. We're not James Lebrie. We are some guy sitting in his car recording vocals. Oh, and what I don't like to do a lot, actually, is put too much effects on the vocals. I mean, they sound very silly without the music, but once you, um, you know, mix it all together, it sounds pretty okay, even raw. The only thing I use is, of course, a compressor, like making uh, quiet things louder and loud things quieter. But that's basically it. I just add a little reverb to get rid of the of the harshness, harsh sounds. The <laughs> that's what I've found out since I mixed, like I don't know, some albums. Too much effects on the vocals ruins everything. I gotta drive home now. See you next time.